gang, just got something in the mail. I'm going to throw it up here on my workbench. This is what we call my monster garage. My work on helicopters, airplanes, uh, motorcycles, and rebuild engines in here. But today, I just received something in the mail. So I want to throw it up here on the bench and open it up. I ordered it from banggood.com here in the States. It took about three days to get it. And I'm up here in cold Pennsylvania. So it really didn't take that long to get it in here like it did when we used to order from overseas. So let me give her a cut here above the fray. Let's see if I can get her open. They're taped up pretty good here. I got them at from the old days when we used to order from Banggood. It is a V915 Llama. So I can't wait to get this thing in the air. It looks really, really cool. Comes in a little carrying ca case here. So you can carry it around. It's a little carrying case. Like most of their stuff does. Get in the back here. Cut some of this tin. Let me flip it around here. Put this on to help protect some of it. And it looks like it's, as you can see, it came in pretty good shape. I don't see anything bent, dented, or even busted. So I'm real happy about that. Just throw that box on the floor. There's the instructions. And there it is. And I'm going to do a full review on it. I'm going to get it in the air and tell you what I think of it. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Okay, as you can see, I got the, the, the 915 out. They sent the adapter for the charger. And in the box, or in the packaging, still the radio and the charger and the battery. And on the back side is where the extra blades are. So make sure you check the back side of the packaging for the blades and the instructions will be back here. I took the instructions out, but they'll be back here also. So I don't want anybody to throw this out because of this. Okay, gang? Hello, gang. Look at the weather. It's beautiful outside. When I first got this helicopter, it was in January. I had a very difficult time filming anything outside because we had one of the coldest winters. But beautiful out, no wind, bright sunny day, about 90 degrees outside. So let's get to it. This is the V915 Llama. Came in this box, as you see, well packaged, no problems there. It comes with a radio and a charger, some extra blades. I'll put them in this baggie like I always do. Some extra blades, tail and main. And it comes with one battery, as you can see still on the helicopter. This helicopter, no matter where I take it, people come and look at it. It's scale, it's off a of scale llama which was an SA-315B by the Indian Air Force. Um, it's pretty much the scale. It looks exactly like the, the real llama. I've had this in the air. I flew it. It flies pretty well. It's a little doppy, a little bit more clumsy. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it does not fly as well as the V912. The V912 flies a little bit better. But if you want to scale a helicopter at a reasonable price, and this one was around $70 with free shipping, you need to get yourself one of these. The battery is wire tied in when you get it. You, uh, if you want to pull the battery out, you can. You need to cut the wire ties and undo the wiring and take these screws out. This canopy flips off and you can get to everything and pull the battery out. I'm going to put Velcro in the battery so it makes it easier to put in the helicopter and take out of the helicopter. Uh, the board in it is not the same as the V912 board. Some of you have been asking that. It's definitely not the same for the way the servos are. It's a little bit different. She will not be able to interchange the board. The motor still gets a little hot, a little warm as per the V912. That does the same thing. So I would advise a, a good rest or cool down period between flights. 
if you fly it, let it cool down before you do the next flight. It takes a battery, a little over an hour to charge. And if you get an extra battery, just make sure you cool it down or put a fan on to cool it down. This helicopter comes in three colors. I believe it's yellow, blue, and red. This happens to be the red one. I like the red, but you can choose. Some guy buy all three colors. Some get what they want. So I wanted the red one. I ordered the red one. Uh, flying this thing, it's, it's pretty cool. It looks great in the air. It looks like a, an old-fashioned helicopter. The downfall for this helicopter is, as you can see, the tail section is not real sturdy. There's a couple screws holding the tail in. You can break the tail pretty easy on a couple crashes. Um, there's not much back here at the back. This can break. The skids can break. This helicopter will not hold up like the V-912 as far as crashes. Also, if you go whipping it around in the air and doing all kind of crazy stuff, which I've been known to do with my 912s, uh, you can see the, the fly bar, it'll definitely hit the fake engine in the back. And some guys have taken that engine off completely or busted it. So it's a relic, it, it's a replica helicopter. It's not made to do uh, spins and all that, even though it will do it. It's just, you can cause a lot of damage. It's a lot of plastic on it as you can see so you just have to be a little careful flying it when you go to charge it, it comes with a charger it looks to me like the same charger on the v913 uh, but the plug is over here it's a little awkward to get it in there so that's why i'm saying cut the wire ties so you can pull this battery out but the charger does work it works quite quite effectively the radio is pretty much the same as the 912, 913. It has a high low turbo. You can add the switch, which I got a video on how to do that. I definitely would suggest adding the switch. It's much easier to fly. The radio is pretty cool, real simple, real easy. Um, I actually like these radios. The, the helicopter itself, uh, some guys are modifying it, they're doing a bunch of stuff. They're, Bend in the fly bar up a little bit. You can certainly experiment with that. Um, the motor, they're putting the, the MJX F45 motor in there. You have to modify the holes a little bit to get it to fit in there, screw in there. Um, that is a much better motor. Uh, still got some heat issues, but it's still a much better motor. Some guys are cutting the top glass here and drilling holes to let the heat in and out. Um, you can do that also. And to get the bigger battery in, they're cutting some plastic away to get the battery to slide up there. I want to keep mine stock. I want to keep mine as original as I can. Um, that's what I bought it for. That's what I want to do. I want to, I want to definitely keep it original. A couple things to check. When you get it out of the box, uh, mine, the tail motor was unplugged from the factory. I went to fly it the first time and it just spun. So I stopped it immediately, pulled the canopy off, and the plug was unplugged. So you might want to check that before you fly. I, sh I probably should know better, but I was in, I was really anxious to fly it, so I did not check that. Oh, yeah. But these screws in the canopy are very small. Be careful, you don't lose them. Pull this off and put it back on. There's about seven or eight screws. It is, it is a lot of screws. The helicopter itself, and I have a piece of a video of it at dusk flying. Um, the video is a little grainy, but it's dark out. It lights up. There's an LED in the front. And there's two LEDs on the side. There's an LED in the motor. Um, it's pretty cool at night. I mean, it lights up all different colors, and it really, really sets the helicopter off. If you want to do a little cruising around at dusk or something like that, it's definitely a looker in the sky. Even at night, it's a looker in the sky. Just be a little careful because it, it does get a, it's a little doppy in the air. It's just not quite what the 912 is. But um, if you want a, a replica helicopter, this is the one to buy. It's really reasonable. 
It's around 70 bucks. They do not make a bind and fly at this particular time. Um, and they, they're saying they're not going to, but you know, that can change in the future. But for now, you have to spend around $70 to get the whole thing. And 70 bucks really for this total package. And you can always use this on your 912s and your 913s. It really isn't a bad deal. It's, uh, as far as getting this for your first helicopter, I would advise against that. It's a replica, it flies a little doppy. I don't think that this is going to be a great helicopter for your first time, first learning to fly. Um, simply because it does break quick. Tail brakes, skids break, back, and you're going to crash when you first learn to fly. So if you're going to start out flying, Get yourself the V911, naturally, or possibly the V912. But once you learn to fly, then get this. You know, take this to the field with me, and uh, everybody comes over and looks at it because it is a great-looking helicopter. I do buzz it around the field, but I don't do anything crazy with it. I just fly it nice and easy and land it because I want to keep it in really, really good shape. So. You have to decide what you want to do. I give this helicopter a thumbs up. I think it's great as far as being a replica. Um, I give it a thumbs down because the tail breaks easy, the skids break easy, and I also give it a thumbs down on being your first helicopter to learn with because it breaks too easy. Some guys get this and they horse around in the sky and they end up putting a lot of money in it, you know, because of the tail and stuff like that. Um, they say. Well, as cheap as this helicopter is to buy, they put more money into it to keep it original. So, buy yourself a 911 or 912. I think you'll be much better off. Other than that, I want to get a video of it flying. I definitely want to get that on here. And stay tuned. That's coming up. And also, the video of the dusk, the nighttime with the LEDs lit up. That's coming up. So, don't go away. Stay tuned. Hey gang, thanks for tuning in. I flew this thing for you. It was my first flight. It was actually pretty stable. I had to do a little bit of trimming on it. And a little doppier than the V9 
12, but uh, all in all, it's actually a pretty good flying helicopter. Looks great in the air, absolutely cool. And near night or dusk, when she lights up, she actually looks better yet. So, like I said before, if you want to get a scale, something near scale or a replica, this is the guy to get. Relatively cheap, flies good. Look me up on Facebook, definitely like me, Tailbone Terry, and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Happy flying.